This video shows you how you can import images to a frame environment and what the settings are. There are two ways to import an image, directly in the environment or in your inventory. If you want to use an image several times, you might want to import it in your inventory. So you only have to upload it once. You can do that by going to your settings, then select the inventory tab and then click on add to inventory. Here you see a list of types of content that you can upload. So click on add image and drag and drop the image. This will end up in the images folder below the asset library. Next you can click on the green plus sign to add it to your environment. If you use an image only once, it is better to upload it directly. This is done by clicking the blue plus sign at the bottom and selecting image. You can drag and drop or browse to the image and when you are done, the image will appear in the environment. But it's not at the right position yet, so you have to be in edit mode for this and this edit mode button is found at the bottom of your screen and looks like a pencil. Now when you click on the image, you will see blue dots around the image to scale it, some colored arrows to move it in three directions and colored rotation circles. If you hover over them, they will turn yellow, which means you can hold down the left button of your mouse and move or turn the image. But there is also an edit window at the left, which gives you some very handy tools. The best and most used tool is Snap to Surface. If you enable that and click on a surface, the image will snap to that surface. So if you click on a wall or a board like here, most work is already done. Be sure to set this Snap to Surface off when you have done the snapping, or else it might snap to something else while you are editing it. Next. You can scale it to the right size, move it a bit and you're done. But there's more you can do. You can replace the image with another image on the same spot. You can copy the image so you can use it on the next board. Scale and rotate are also found here and with precision editing you can do some fine tuning in position, rotation and scale. Next you can select in what scene this item should appear. We explain about scenes in another video. You can lock the item, let it spin around at a certain speed. You can have it always face the camera, so the user will always see the image. Make it zoomable, so it will fill the whole screen when you click on it. You can make it downloadable. And you can edit a link to it. And this link can either be a frame environment, you have to fill in the name here, so you can click on the item and then you will be teleported to the next environment. A scene link, which we explain in another video. A notification link, so you will receive a notification when somebody clicks on it, like a I need help text message to your phone or your email. A link to a spot in the same environment. You can make a so-called spawn point or location within an environment and jump there by clicking on this item. And finally a web link which can be an external website or a YouTube video which also can be embedded so the video or the website will appear in the left corner of your screen. The last button is to delete the object. Well that's all about images, have fun!